If you've been following along with this series of videos on selling through a crisis, you'll, you'll have got the theme by now. The main theme really is that, that, that excellent salespeople are people who are partnering with their clients, becoming advisors to their clients, understanding the world of their clients, rather than someone who's just pushing themselves and trying to flog stuff <laughs> at, at their clients. Um, there are all sorts of ways in which we can try and understand our clients better. And in this video, I want to introduce you to a tool I use all the time and lots of my clients use it. It's called, I call it my magical mind reading client grid. Um, so it's a way of, of, of reading the mind of your client. And I recommend this tool particularly when you're starting to think about contacting clients. So if you're picking up the phone to an important client or you're about to send an email or you're about to send out um, a sales suggestion or, or you're making a video like I'm doing now, uh, it's just a grid that will help you make sure you haven't missed anything important in terms of understanding what's going on for your client at the moment. Um, I always, I carry, um, when I go to sales meetings, I carry a physical copy around with me just to remind myself before I go into a meeting. Obviously, a lot of our meetings at the moment are going to be virtual. But if we're going on this journey with clients, if we're sort of walking alongside them, obviously keeping your two meters uh, distance, but if we're metaphorically walking alongside our clients, you really want to be able to understand their point of view as much as possible. So the grid is like this, and I'll, I'll add um, a, a link and a visual so you can, you can have this grid for yourself. Um, the, the grid is nine squares, and the central one is really the, the most important one, and that's called the central goal. So that really is a question for you, is, is what, what is the thing my client is most focused on right at the moment? What is the central goal? Now, often that will be the central goal of the business. So, for example, is, is their business, is the central goal to expand by 3% this year or to reach into new territories or, or to add a new department or a new project, product? Um, that's always going to be a good question to ask. At the moment, of course, their central goals are likely to be things that are quite short term and really, really urgent for them. Uh, for most of our clients, their central goal is going to be something like, how do I get to the end of the week? Or even how do I, how do I just get through today? Obviously, as things become a little more stable, people start to work out where they are in the world and what, what the changes in the world mean for them. That's going to change. So keep coming back to that question. If I were my client right now, what would my central goal be? What would I most be focused on? Try and answer that question because it will help you to understand your clients. Then as we go round the um, uh, uh, grid, uh, uh, above uh, central goal, it says, how do they think? So what, what kind of person um, are, they? are they? Are they quite a data-driven person? Are they, are they quite a flighty, sort of vague person? Um, do, they, do they want really quick, pithy messages? Or are they someone who likes uh, occasionally a bit of a chat? Obviously, again, in terms of the, the sort of panic crisis mode that we're in at the moment, most people are going to have less time. They're going to have more pressures on them. But even so, we, many of us tend to think in, in different ways. So just ask yourself that question, how do they think? And then next to that question, in the box next to that, there's another question, which is, how do they feel? So what kind of person are they in terms of, if, if you like, um, emotional tactility? So again, are they the kind of person that needs quite a bit of rapport? Are they the kind of person that needs quite a bit of reassurance? Many of our clients will be going through uh, things at the moment where they do need a lot more reassurance than um, that you might previously have expected. Ask yourself that question. It might give you a little bit more of an insight into them. Um, under that, there are some other things that you might not necessarily want to spend a lot of time on, but these are all good questions to ask. So under that is market challenges. So what's the challenge of their market at the moment? Uh, this is going to be shifting hour by hour, day by day, of course. So this is a good question to come back to again and again and again. Are their competitors growing or are their competitors suddenly dropping out? Um, in, in, in my world, for example, my whole market is changing completely. I'm largely a keynote speaker, so that market is shifting massively on online very quickly. So I face challenges like learning new technology, um, making sure that my Wi-Fi is working as well as it can be every day. So there'll be all sorts of shifting market challenges for your clients. Under that, uh, there's a, quite an interesting um, uh, uh, box, I think, and it might not be something that, that intuitively you think is worth asking, but it really is, which is what worries do they have about you? Um, so in other words, when you're going to try and engage, try and keep this relationship going with a client, quite, keep building this relationship with a client, what worries might they have about you? Might you be somebody who, who uh, takes up too much of their time? Are you someone who takes ages to get to the point? Um, are they worried you're going to go out of business in three weeks? If they, you know, are they, is, is that stopping them from signing a three-month contract right now? Ask yourself that question and try and be as honest as you can about the answer to that. Next to that is what are their secondary goals? Obviously, they're, they, they, they've 
they've got this central goal, this big goal, but they will have secondary goals. Some of those things will be about how do I keep my team going? Um, how do they look after their clients? Um, how do they keep a, a, a market presence or a brand presence in the current conditions? Um, are, they, are they worried about, you know, cancelling travel plans and, and having to rein in budgets and, in different areas? There'll be lots of secondary uh, worries that are on their mind. Try and understand as many of those as possible because it will help you have better sales conversations. Um, next to that is, is resources, which <laughs> might, might sound a bit like a comical one at the moment. Obviously, for most of us, our resources are being reduced. But of course, there'll be some businesses where that's not true. But try and be as, as, as insightful into the resources, particularly the time they've got available and, of course, the budgets that they might have as you can and try and be as empathetic to that as you can. Above that, there's then personal goals. Um, so are they worried, you know, are they worried about keeping their job? Are they working from home and having to, to juggle children and running a Zoom meeting and speaking to you as a salesperson? Are they trying to, um, uh, in their sort of personal area, are they trying to, 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 you know, keep their teams motivated? Are they trying to keep themselves motivated? There'll be some other stuff that's on their mind that's worth thinking about. And last of all, uh, the, the last box is why should they change? So in other words, what they were doing yesterday probably didn't involve buying something from you. So why should they change and buy something from you or engage with you or read your email or listen to your phone call today? Why should they do that? Why is it worth it to them? Try and answer that question. If you can do all of those things, you'll have a much better insight into the world of your client, the mind of your client, and you'll feel much more armed for picking up the telephone, for sending that email or for writing and posting that brochure. I wish you very good luck with that and I'll see you in the next video.